Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mysore Mission Channel. Today we're gonna learn something new called Karate and we're gonna do some Karate. So just for fun. So we're gonna learn something about Karate Framework. So this series will help you to understand what is Karate Framework and how we can implement this Karate Framework in your automation and how you simplify things. So let's get started. Uh, it's an open source tool which supports API performance and UI testing and you can also do some uh, desktop testing as well and this framework supports uh, the Cucumber language scripting and it is easier for non-programmers or everyone who can uh, write something on Gherkin language they can start using it so Gherkin language is an English context and there are some built-in assertions and the great HTML reports. So when we start writing scripts, right, so we're going to see how the assertions are there and how the reports look like. And no need to compile, simply write and execute. So as the, we are doing a Gherkin language scripting, which supports text like uh, plain text. So write something and execute it right away. And there is an API testing which supports. In that API, we have a SOAP and REST services. So those two has a different uh, structure. So few tools support only one, like SOAP and uh, REST. This Karate framework will support both REST and SOAP services. And it is one of the big advantage that we have. And it has a multi-threading and a parallel executions, which will help you to run the test cases parallelly. I have a lot of automation time as well. And there are reports which includes uh, HTTP request responses and we can troubleshoot those uh, APIs with that logs and debugging is easier with this framework where few tools only gives you response status or response code but here you can see all these details so which is again add-on and uh, it is having a built-in distributed testing capability that works for API UI and even load testing and without needing of the grid infrastructure where grid is used in Selenium where we can do a parallel execution in different uh, operating system or different devices and it has a Gatlin integration so what is a Gatlin so which is used for performance testing so we can write script and we can integrate with the Gatlin tool to get the performance results we can do a web automation and we can do a desktop automation and we can mix together into one so we'll see all these things in the upcoming practical sessions so this is a quick introduction towards a character framework so few people uh, may know this character framework or few are beginners who wanted to learn something new out of this character framework. So this series is mainly focused for one who are in a beginner level and intermediate level so they can learn and we will cover some advanced topics in this. So stay tuned for all the updates and in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague. Thank you for watching.